another good looking chair here. This is a Quickie 500M for mid-wheel drive. So the M stands for mid-wheel drive, meaning your drive wheels are in the middle, you have a wheel on the ground in the back, and you have a wheel on the ground in the front. This chair has a 12-inch seat lift only. This chair is made by Sunrise Medical. Sunrise Medical is the, is the manufacturer of this chair. They build an extremely well-built power chair. Everything about this chair is solid. They use high-quality material. The motors are high-quality motors. It's just a great chair. So if you need a chair that's kind of quick, you want something really quick that turns fast, uh, you want something faster than most people have, it's a little more response, it's almost like a little race car. It has that, that zip to it. Even though it goes six miles an hour, it takes off faster, it turns faster. So if you don't like turning fast and taking off fast, this one not be for you. But if you'd like that extra oop in your power chair, this one has it. So as I said, this chair has one mile, so it's practically brand new. One mile, folks. It has a 12 inch seat lift. So this one, if you want the seat to go up, you go to your joystick and it's not hard. Right on your joystick there's a button with a picture of a seat. So you press it down and the lights will come on and then you use your joysticks for up and down. So now if I push this back, you'll see the seat lift not moving because I'm going the wrong way. This company, you have to push forward. There you go. Some are backwards, some are forward. So this one's forward, the seat's moving up. When you're down, you're at 22 inches. So if you add your 12 inches, you're going to be at 34 inches. But remember, this chair will not drive with the seat elevated, okay? So the seat is all the way up to the top now. We should be at 34 inches right about now. Okay, and if I put it back in drive, you can see it's not going to drive. So this, this chair only drives when the seat is down, which is the way you should do anyway. So folks, let's look how well built this chair is, okay? You can see the armature for the seat lift. You can see the actual motor right here for the seat lift is right here, okay? You can see the frame on the chair, how well built that is, okay? Look at the front caster, the rear caster, and there are shocks. You'll see the front shocks in a minute. You have an anchor point here, another anchor point here. This is on the frame. This is welded to the frame right here, these two. This is where you secure your chair if you're going to transport it. You got four of those around the chair, okay? You have a four pole motors. Usually four pole motors are better than two pole motors. These are high torque, high quality, high speed motors. These are four poles. The motor goes down directly to the hub right here, to this wheel. This is a, pretty sure this is a 12 or 13 inch uh, rounded wheel, okay? So what that means, it's, it's better in the house. So if you want a chair in the house that's really good turning and you want that seat lift, but you also want to go outside, this one is really good in the house, and you can also do a lot of stuff outside with it, okay? Right now, you can see the chair probably weighs 350 pounds, the way it is there. I can't push it. If I had an issue with the chair, how would I push it? Well, what you would do, you would turn the power off, and hopefully the seat is down, but it doesn't matter. It would be better if the seat was down. Power off. You want no resistance in the motor. There's your motor, and you can see the red handle on it. If I flip the handle, this way, you can see, whoop, wrong way. You can see now I'm in neutral, okay? You see the wheels unlocked, okay? When you, you got both motors, you have to do both motors on both sides, unless you just want to go in a circle. Now you're back in gear. You can hear it, you're back in gear, okay? So I want to show you the suspension too. Let me turn, let me put the seat back down. I'm going to turn the power on. We're going to turn the seat lift back on, we're going to pull it back, then the seat's going to go down. While the seat goes down, let's talk about this. This is called a swing away joystick. So the joystick was here, so this is good to have. You can get a lot closer to a dining table, to your chest, and it stops you from pushing down on your joystick when you exit the chair, okay? If you're left-handed, we can put the joystick on the left side and then it'll swing to the left side, okay? So this is the joystick right there. We're going to put it back in drive and now it's going to drive. You can see the red suspension right here. There's a huge shock right there for this wheel. You can see the suspension at work right there. You have that same suspension on this side, a big red shock in there. This chair has a really, really good suspension when you're driving it. The seat on the chair is a captain's seat, so you can fold the seat. You can fold the seat down, possibly. If you unlock it over here, there's a lock on this side. 
So we should be able to push it down now. Yeah. So let's see if we can do it. There's a lock on that side. Oh, maybe we can get this way. There we go. So there's a lock on this side. I don't, know, I don't know why they do that, but there's a lock there. So if you transport this chair, your high point right here is going to be about 33, 34 inches, okay? Uh, these arms can be dropped down, so if you want that to be lower, you, this arm, is, there's two screws right here. So you can drop that down two more inches, so you'd be about 31 inches. So this whole arm can be dropped down some more. It's sitting pretty high. There's two adjustments right there on both sides, okay? This is a captain's seat, and it has a floating cushion. A floating cushion is a cushion that you can take off. If you want to put your own cushion on, you, there's hundreds of cushions. This one has gel in the back, foam in the front. It has a safety belt. It has a back that feels like leather. As I said, the arms flip up. If you're left-handed, we can put the joystick on the left side. The arms flip up. And they can also go out. But right now, the way we have the arms set up, right here to right here is 25 inches. So you're going to need a 26 inch door at least. 25 inches from outside, outside the arm. The foot plates flip up. So when you exit the chair, you can flip the foot plate. Folks, we're not changing the seat on this chair. It's staying the way it is. The way it is right there with the 12 inch seat lift. We can adjust the foot plate up and down. So if you're tall, we're going to put them lower. If you're right now, it's set up for a person about five seven. But if you're six one, six two, we can drop these plates. We can drop them. They're adjustable. Okay. So I think we've covered just about everything on the chair except the charging. When you charge this chair, you'll take your charger. We'll use this one for example. You plug it right here. And as soon as the light turns from orange to green, the charger will stop charging. So remember, folks, this is a kind of a quick chair. You'll see when you watch the video outside, you'll see. Top speed is about six miles an hour, but it's very quick uh, on the takeoff. The, uh, so this chair has a 12 inch seat lift. It was only used for uh, one mile or one hour. It has a 20 by 20 seat captain seat, we're not changing the seat, so if you're buying this chair, you're getting it, the weight is there. We can adjust the foot plate. It does have the 12 inch seat lift, the swing away joystick, the safety belt, the pull up arms, the heavy duty four pole motors, the heavy duty, I don't want to say heavy duty frame, but very well constructed frame, the anchor points, the solid tires all the way around, and the great suspension. And just watch this chair in the video, you'll see what I'm talking about outside with the suspension. And this chair is ready to go. When you let go, it stops automatically within a couple feet because it's got electromagnetic brakes. So the brake will start braking within a couple feet, they'll lock up. Even though the chair's still on, it's in gear, I can't go, even if you're going down a hill or in a ramp, you stop it, it'll stop right there. Okay, so the top speed is about six, six and a quarter miles an hour. Six to six and a quarter miles an hour is the top speed on this chair. when I turn. We had someone walk up in the video here, that's why we stopped the video. So this is the Quickie, uh, Quickie 500M for mid-wheel drive. Has one mile solid tires. Six, six and a quarter mile an hour top speed, and you've got the 12 inch seat lift that will not drive when the seat's elevated. But as I said, super comfortable seat. The cushion is extra comfortable. I mean, this is a top notch chair. If you just need the seat lift, you don't need it driving while you're sitting in elevated. Hi, I'm Mark. And my name is Alex. We're co owners of Mark's Mobility. 
I started this company in 1995. We sell many products, not just what you see in this video. If you have any questions or concerns, please call us at the number below at 800-677-6293. Thank you and have a wonderful day.